Hello everyone, good evening. Good evening everyone. God bless you. I pleasure everyone come on in. Before I share my message to all of you this evening, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, thank you so much for this blessing this evening. That you bless me. Come, Holy Spirit. Father God, thank you so much for strength that just threatened me. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you bless me to have a good health. For everything that I have. Father, I owe it to you, my Lord, for everything that I have. To serve you, my Lord. To continue my assignment to spread your gospel and kingdom. I pray this evening, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you give me more wisdom and knowledge and understanding to preach this gospel. To preach this gospel in kingdom, that you lift me up, that you put your Holy Spirit in me, in my whole mind, whole heart, body, and spirit, and soul, Father God, that this message that you bless me in Jesus' blood, my prayers for all people around the world, my prayers for all over the world, for this crisis that we are still facing for but father god i know you are still in control of this world because you are our creator i believe father god that this crisis is going to end in jesus blood i pray amen good morning bread like light bread senior god bless you big daddy bear so let me share my message to all of you this uh, this evening because I know um, I, sh I, I share this message to all of you this evening because one of my friends, he really he wants me, he asked me that I'm preaching here every day here in social media. So sometimes he cannot, he cannot watch me because all of us, we are working and, and uh, we are different time. So he really, he asked me, one of my friends in Africa, that uh, he want me to, to do a message for him, if what is my topic, something like in a short words, that to, to, to share to them that, that how people in their country or in their place in Africa, how really we preach the gospel. So when, um, when I saw in, in his post, it's very confusing for all people about Jesus Christ because I read all the comments of his post. There's a lot of people, especially the non-believers, they are not they are not believe about Jesus Christ. So this evening I will share about my topic: Who is Jesus Christ? So this is our topic this evening. This is I will discuss to share to all of you. I know I have a lots of uh, scripture, but I want you the scripture I share to all of you so you will understand. You will understand if who is Jesus Christ. Amen. So, who is Jesus Christ? This is my message. So, who is Jesus Christ? So, many people, okay, many people or, or people around the world, uh, they think that Jesus Christ was simply, okay, was simply a great teacher or only Jesus Christ is a prophet. This is what people believe. Amen. Jesus Christ is a great teacher. Jesus Christ is a prophet. Jesus Christ is only a man or only a human. So this is I will discuss to all of you. But Christian, we are Christian, okay? We believe he was far more. He was far more than a mere okay, human being. His death because no one can break the record of Jesus Christ that his death alone on the cross. So his death and resurrections radically changed the course of history. Amen. Christ's love allows people to enter, to enter into a true 
and meaningful relationship with God the Father. Amen. So Jesus Christ, okay, Jesus Christ love allows allows for all of us, for people to enter into a true, a meaningful, meaningful relationship to our Father God in heaven. So who is Jesus? Jesus is a holy man. Okay. A holy man, he was born he was born as a human baby. Amen. He enjoyed the pains and temptations of humanity. Amen. He suffered a physical humiliating humiliating death. Amen. In Mark chapter 1, 12 to 13. So here we are. Okay. Mark chapter 1, 12 to 13. And immediately the spirit drive him into the wilderness. And 13. He was there in the wilderness for 40 days tempted of Satan and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered unto him. Amen. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> Luke chapter 2. I know this is very long. I have a lot, a lot, a long, I have a lot of scripture. But I share it to all of you so you will understand if who is really Jesus. So read also in Luke chapter 2 verse 1 to 21. So the long scripture I'm not going to read but I share it to all of you. Because I have a lot of scripture about who is Jesus Christ? So read also in Luke chapter 2, 1, verse 1 to 21. And now I will read Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. Okay, here we are. Okay. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. Let this mind, let, let this mind be in you. Okay. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being the form of God because I know there's a lot of people confused amen there's a lot of people is really like uh, give them stress to think who is really Jesus was so, amen I know it's very hard for them to understand especially for these non-believers but so this I will explain so who is Jesus in books of Philippians chapter 2 verse 6 who being the form of God, thought in not it not a robbery to be equal with God. Seven, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. Amen. God bless you, so Stewart. God bless you, Timothy. Timothy, brother Timothy Rameler. Rameler form of a serpent and was made in the likeness of men and ate and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross amen so here we are so jesus jesus is a holy man so number one he is holy man okay so in the book my scripture is Mark chapter 1, 12 to 13, Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 21, and Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. Okay. Fully divine. Who is Jesus is? He is fully divine. Okay. He is the Son of God. He is God incarnate. The Word made flesh. Who came to earth to redeem, okay, redeem humanity. John chapter 1, okay, John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14, okay, and John chapter 20, verse 31. But the long scripture, I'm not going to read it because I have a lot of scripture to share to all of you if who is Jesus Christ. Now I will read John chapter 14. John chapter uh, 20 verse 31. Okay. 
But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through His name. Amen. Okay, so here we are. Okay. Who is Jesus? The Savior. Okay. The Savior. Though sinless, He chose to die, receive humanity punishments for their sin in order, in order to save, to save us. Amen. To, so, to sinless. He is our Savior. Amen. So to sinless, Jesus chose to die and receive humanity's punishments for our sins in order to save us. Amen. Through His resurrection, Amen. Through His resurrection, He conquered death and sin. Satan and heal. Amen. Death and sin and Satan and heal. He promises, His promises, eternal life to those, okay, to those who believe in Him. If who believe in Him, Jesus promises that we have eternal life. Okay, Luke chapter 24, verse 5 to 7. Okay, here we are. Look. And as they were afraid and bowed down their face to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? 6. He is not here. Amen. Remember when Jesus was resurrected. Amen. <clears throat> In Luke chapter 24 verse 6. But is reason. Okay. Remember how he spake unto you. When he was yet in Galilee. Seven. Saying. Jesus saying. The son of man must be delivered into hand of of sinful sinful men it means is jesus christ was delivered for the sins of the world amen and be crucified and the third day rise again amen okay so here we are <clears throat> okay John chapter 3, 16 to 36. But this is a long scripture. But I share, and then you have time, you read also in John chapter 3, verse 16 to 36. Now I will read John chapter 5, verse 24. Also we have John chapter 5, verse 24. John chapter 11, verse 25. Now I will read Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. Okay. John chapter 20, verse 31. Okay, here we are. I know it's a lot of a lot of scriptures to read to share to all of you. Amen. Okay, here we are. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered him without without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Just think about this. Amen. How much more? Amen. Shall the blood of Christ, shall the blood of Jesus Christ, who through Amen. The eternal spirit offered. Jesus Christ offered himself. Jesus, he offered himself to save the sins of all mankind in this world. Without, 
without spot to God. Amen. But purge your conscience from dead work to serve the living God. Amen. Okay, here we are. The last Adam. He provides forgiveness. Amen. Provide forgiveness a new life. Jesus, Jesus is the one to provide forgiveness for all people in this planet earth and give a new life. Amen. Abolishing the sin and death that Adam, that Adam is the one to brought upon humanity. Amen. Genesis, Genesis chapter 3, whole verses, but I cannot read because it's a lot of, a lot of <clears throat> message to read. But open your Bible, the whole chapter box of Genesis. Amen. And Romans chapter 5, 12 to 21. Okay, we will see if I can read for, for all of you. I know there's a lot of scripture that I have to share to all of you. Okay, Romans chapter 5, 12 to 21. And First Corinthians chapter 21 to 22. This is, I will read for you. Okay, First Corinthians. Here we are. Just a minute. I, because I have a lot of scripture to share to all of you, so you will understand. First Corinthians chapter 15, 21 to 22. For since by man came death, but man came also the resurrections of the dead. 22. For us, for us, for us in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Amen. It was saying, for Adam, we all die of seeds. For one, for one man committed sins. Amen. So in First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, for us in Adam, all die. Even so, in Christ shall, in Christ Jesus, shall all made alive. It means is in one man who committed sins, that is Adam, we are all die or did of sins. But one, one Christ Jesus, okay, shall it shall all be made. We are all alive. Amen. Okay, here we are. The highest, the high press. Amen. The high, the high press. He directly connects people amen he directly connect people to God he was the perfect only one only one was perfect and that is Jesus Christ sinless ultimate sacrifice for sins no other sacrifice or press is needed for forgiveness from God if you think, just think about in your thought, in your mind. Amen. The man on earth is going to sacrifice for all the sins of the world. No one. Amen. If you think the priest or whatever on earth, that even though you are apostle, a preacher or prophet or whatever it is, can forgiveness to our Lord God, no one. Amen. And no one sacrifice on earth but the Son of Man. 
the son of god and that is jesus christ amen in hebrew chapter 3 verse 1 hebrew chapter 4 14 to 15 and hebrews chapter 7 24 to 27 okay here we are okay hebrews chapter 3 verse 1 wherefore holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling heavenly calling consider the consider apostle a high priest of our profession Christ Jesus Hebrews chapter 4 15 to 16 we sorry we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are amen yet without sin let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need Hebrews chapter 7 24 to 27 but this man because he continued ever had an unchangeable priesthood 25 wherefore he is able he is able also to save to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him come unto God come unto God the Father by him it means is through him the sons of the Father through Jesus Christ can come unto our Father in heaven amen okay continue here we are okay seeing he even liveth to make intercession for them 26 for such an a high praise high praise became us who is holy harmless and defiled separate from sinners and made higher than the heavens amen made higher higher than the heaven 27 who needed not daily as though as those high press to offer sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the peoples for the peoples it means is people in this whole planet earth okay for this he did once he did once yes jesus christ he did he did once already here on earth because he's done already he finished already he died already amen so when he opened up himself amen Okay, here we are. So you will understood if who is Jesus Christ. So we show this a lot of scripture you can read, but I know everyone they don't understand because what we call about every people different religion. Amen. Okay, who is Jesus? Jesus is sinless. Okay. He did not sin because he is God. Amen. Only one is perfect on earth and that is Jesus. Amen. Sinless, he did not sin even when tempted. Even Satan tempted him, tempted him. Amen. He was and their serving of punishment and death 
Amen. He is the one. He is the one all for the sins of the people around the world or the sins of mankind in this world. He is alone paid. I read this comment that the one person of my friends, my friends post, it was saying, Jesus doesn't know you. This is what he said in the comments. Some people saying, Jesus doesn't know us. How could you, how could you say that Jesus don't know us? That he is God. Amen. This is, this is the, this is the mind of people that it was like the, the only, the, the way how the, the answers, how the way the doing conversation for other people, it was like is racist. Amen. Something like the, the straight, the straight answer they made to, they made to zigzag. Amen. Because of their belief of their religion. Because their religion, okay, believe that Jesus is a prophet. Amen. So this is what I read. Okay. So Jesus was undeserving, undeserving of punishment and death. You can do imagine in all over the world, Jesus alone, Jesus alone paid for all people in this planet Earth. Amen. It's very hard to understand for all people around the world. Matthew chapter 4, 1 to 11, and Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. I will see. Hebrews chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4, 1 to 11, but it is long to read. Okay, now I will proceed. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. For we have not an a high priest we cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was is all points tempted like as we are yet without sin amen okay here we are the messiah who <coughs> excuse me who is jesus christ jesus is Messiah. Amen. He is Messiah. Okay. Messiah foretold in Old Testament prophecies. His kingdom is the kingdom of God. Where his followers from all nations. Uh, here we are. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So Jesus Christ. His kingdom is the kingdom of the Father from up. Okay. So where, where, where are the followers? Where are the followers from all nations are united in love and peace? Okay. So here we are. In Isaiah chapter 53. You can read all the chapter. Amen. Micah chapter 5 verse 2. I will read only the, uh, the short scripture because I have a lot of scriptures to read to all of you. Okay. Micah chapter 4. Okay. Here we are. i uh, sorry. Micah chapter 5 verse 2. But thou Bethlehem. Imparata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, 
whose going point had been from from had been from old from everlasting amen mark chapter 14:61 to 62 but he held his peace and answered nothing again the high priest asked him and said unto him art thou the christ okay so it was saying okay it was saying asking the press the press as him the press as, as him and said unto him okay art thou the christ so the press asked jesus christ are you a christ the son of bless 62 and jesus said i am okay in mark chapter 14 verse 26 so the press the press asked jesus if he is a christ and jesus in mark chapter 14 verse 62 and jesus said i am and you sh- And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in clouds of the heaven. So what is all about? Jesus answered, I am. He is the Christ. Amen. The sons of the Father. Sitting on the right hand of his Father. father and all power given given it to him and coming and coming back again on earth in the clouds of heaven amen john chapter 18 verse 36 jesus answered my kingdom is not of this world So how how people around the world to understand if who is Jesus Christ? Amen. <clears throat> if <clears throat> excuse me, if someone will say Jesus is the prophet, so then why Jesus saying Jesus answered in John chapter eighteen verse thirty six, My kingdom is not of this world. So how can a prophet? How can a prophet live in the kingdom in the kingdom of God? If if the prophet it means is prophet is a human. Prophet is we are mankind, we are a human. So if I will say prophet, apostle, press, pastor, preacher or what ever. Amen. What ever. press apostle preacher prophet or whatever it is okay it was saying this is all this is all name this is all human i want to explain okay this is all human we are mankind but jesus if those people believe jesus is the prophet Then how Jesus was saying, Jesus answered in John chapter 18 verse 36, My kingdom is not of this world. So then how people, you couldn't understand that he is not a prophet. He is the sons of the father even though, even though, amen, he became, became a human. Because Jesus is incarnation, fully man, fully God, in miracle, in miracle, the Father that the Virgin Mary. This is why we call Virgin Mary. Mary is a name, and Virgin he gave he gave birth for this the sons of the Father because this is. A miracle, spirit miracle, big blessings in this whole planet Earth, and no one can break the record in this planet Earth. Amen. 
I know it's very hard for everyone to, to understand. Amen. But Jesus was saying, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servant fight that I should not be delivered to Jews? This is Jesus was saying. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Okay, so here we are. If Jesus is a prophet, if this is how people believe. Amen. Jesus will not sacrifice on the cross. Jesus will not came into this world. Think about this. Open your mind. Use the wisdom of God and knowledge. Amen. If people believe because of this what we call religion. This is the religion in all over the world, confused for all people around in this planet Earth. Because of this religion. Amen. Then, let me tell you this very simply explanation. If Jesus, if people believe Jesus is a prophet, then Virgin Mary will not deliver the sons of the Father in this world. Think about this. Jesus will not come into this world. If he is a prophet. Amen. Because prophet, this is all, this is all name we call servants of God. Apostle, prophets, pastor, priest, teachers, whatever it is. Amen. We are, we call, we are members. We are members, we are servants of God. Different name. You are Bradley, I am Bela. You are Sister Evelyn, I am Bela. This is Nilfa, I am Bela. Amen. This is Joy Rila, I am Bela. Different name. Different name. Amen. It's the same situation. Different name being servants of God. Amen. But Jesus was saying the world is not his kingdom. So how could you how could you explain or who whose people that really very intelligent to explain Jesus was a prophet and is not God? Amen. So then how Jesus, when he died, after three days, why he resurrected from up? Amen. So then, this is very hard to understand. Amen. So here we are. Okay. Now I explain. Who is Jesus Christ? This is a message. Jesus Christ is fully human. Amen. In the box of Mark chapter 1 verse 12 to 13. Luke chapter 2 1 to 21. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 8. Who is Jesus? Fully divine. He is the son of God. He is God incarnate. The word made flesh who come. Sorry, who came, who came to earth to redeem humanity. Okay, in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14, and John chapter 20, verse 21. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Savior. Okay, here we are. Though sinless, he chose, Jesus chose to die. And received humanity punishment for for their sins in order to save, in order to save all of us. He is the one to receive the punishment. He is the one alone die in this world. And no one, no one die in this world. 
for all for all people the sins of people in this planet earth amen through his resurrection he conquered death and sin death and sin satan and heal his promises eternal life to those who believe in him eternal life it means is we have a second life to live because we have we call second death there's a lot of people they couldn't understand they were saying it's die already but you kill you kill again this is how the way people that we call that races they don't understand second death Second death, if the person will die, this flesh, this is our body. Amen. This is going back to dust because we came from the dust. But the second death is about spirit, our souls. How about your souls? This is why Jesus came into this world. Amen. Amen. To choose which one, hell or heaven. Amen. If you think, if you think after your death of your body and this place going to dust, are you sure if where did you going to go? This, this, this is people don't understand. Amen. They don't understand this. Amen. So Jesus, through his resurrection, he conquered, amen, death and sin and Satan and heal. So then, if anyone don't believe it, it's up to you. Nobody force you, amen. Nobody, nobody forcing us, amen. Because even though our Lord God not forcing us, to stand to follow Jesus Christ you are the one to choose your life about about eternal about your soul if which one you wants to go hell or heaven amen so Jesus is our savior why he is savior because he saved the sins of the world Why we call him our Lord Jesus Christ, our personal Savior? Because Jesus Christ, even though he is God, but he became a man. Just think about this. Amen. So even though he is God, but he became a human like us. Why did he become a human like us? Because he teach us to stop sinning in this world. Because God want us all to be saved. God want us all go to heaven. God don't want that everyone, that anyone, all of us went to hell. Did you know that? This is why God, he sent his beloved son. And Jesus Christ became like us. Amen. He became a human. People don't understand this. Amen. Then Jesus, when he became a man, Mary, a virgin, delivered him. He start. He start ministering. He start teaching about love, about care, about healing, about everything, all doing goods. Amen. But because of this, a high priest, a high priest, it was like, it was like they don't believe it. Why? Even though she's a young age, amen, he, it was, he know everything. Why he can heal every sicknesses, every diseases, amen. So this high priest, he put him to death. 
Amen. So Jesus alone, Jesus alone saved the sins of all people in this planet Earth. This is why He is our Savior. Because through Him, through Him, we have, we call eternal lights to live. It means is because Jesus died for all of us. Jesus died the sins of the world. Amen. And He departs to heaven because the world is not His kingdom. Amen. This world is not his kingdom. So how come everyone will say Jesus is a prophet? Amen. It's very hard. It's very hard to think about this. It's very hard to, to understand. Amen. Jesus, Jesus fully man, but fully God. Amen. So you can hear, the world is not my kingdom. Just, just, just only this. Just only this. Try to understand. Amen. So it means, oh, so it means it's Jesus is not, the world is not his kingdom. So it means is he is the son of the father. Just, just, just that's it. It's very simple to understand. Amen. Okay. So here we are. I'm trying to explain to all of you. The last Adam. Who is Jesus? The last Adam. Here we are. He provides. Jesus provides forgiveness and new life. It means is even though your body is dead of sins. Amen. But if you confess all your sins and repent, still Jesus forgiving us and he give us a new life amen he give us a new life to live you know what it's all about this is why jesus died on the cross amen through his spirit through his spirit that we separated the world amen this is why The Bible saying it's not religion that we need to stand for. It's not for the world that we need to stand for. It's not for your preacher. It's not for your apostle. It's not for your prophets. It's not, it's not for your preacher or what either that we need to stand for. We stand for Jesus Christ. It's not stand for your family. It's not stand for your, for your, for your wealth or riches. It's nothing but Jesus. Even because Jesus only, only can give us a new life. And that is eternal life. That we live, we live, we having eternal life to live forever. This is why the Bible can teach us everything. This is why we need to change our lifestyle. We need to separate the world to stand to follow Jesus. This is why we need to become, sorry, we need to become born again. Amen. New life. If you will become born again, it means is the old, the old, the old character or your old or what your old attitude or whatever you do it before. You don't want already. You kick already. Amen. You are not thinking about already. If I will say, I am a drunkard woman. Yes. I'm going to tell you, before, no one, no one, no one person, if I will drink alcohol, different kind of liqueur or beer or whatever, if I will sit on the table, no one can lose me To drink alcohol. I'm telling you all here. If it was in the night time. Until in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. I'm still fresh. I really. I'm very a hard alcoholic. Before. 
Now, this is I kick it. If what I am doing before, I kick it, I remove it. If who I am before in Manila, I'm telling you, all of nightclub in Manila, Philippines, we all go there. But if what I am before, I kick it, I remove it, I separate it. I separated the world because God spoke it unto me that he used me being a messenger to continue to spread the gospel of God. I have assignment. So if what is before, I remove it. I separate it. Now I am here. I am thirsty to always, I cannot share the gospel of God here to all of you. Amen. So Jesus, Jesus only can provide forgiveness. Amen. And Jesus only can give us new life. Amen. Abolishing the sins, death, death that Adam brought upon humanity. It means is for one for one man committed sins for the whole planet earth. Amen. Okay. In Genesis chapter 3. Whole chapter you can read it. Amen. And Romans chapter 5, 12 to 21. I know it's very long scripture. And First Corinthians chapter 15 to 21, 22. And First Corinthians chapter 45 to 49. Okay. Who is Jesus? The high priest. He directly connect people to God. A higher priest. Amen. So Jesus, he directly through him. Through him, he connect us. He connect us. As all people in this planet earth to his father God in heaven. Amen. He was the perfect, sinless, ultimate sacrifice for other. Okay. Sacrifice for sins, other sacrifice or priest is needed for forgiveness from God. In Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1, and Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 and 15, and Hebrews chapter 7, 24 to 27. Amen. So this is all the scripture I share to all of you. If who is Jesus Christ. So think about this for all people believe. Amen. For people believe, okay, that Jesus only ordinary man, only a great teacher. People believe that Jesus is only a prophet. This is this is how people believe, and yes, it was right because remember I work in different country, so it means is I'm encounter different people and different religion. When I was in Malaysia before I came here in Qatar, my employer, she told me that Jesus is a prophet. This is, this is, she teach me to brainwash, to brainwash my mind that Jesus is a prophet. Because we went, we went to their, to their, but they call it in, in Chinese, we went for their, uh, like we call church. And they are worshipping the big, the big idols. So my employer in Malaysia, she teach me to brainwash that Jesus is not God. This is how she teach me. But I told her, I told her, Jesus is God. You cannot change. What is your belief? You cannot change everything in this world. The truth is the truth. Jesus was saying, Jesus is not God, and Jesus is the prophet. Now, I will read for last time. John chapter 18, verse 16. It's very clear. Jesus 
Okay, so in 35, I will read more in 35. Pilate answered, I am a Jew. So Pilate answered to Jesus, Thine own nation and the chief and the chief press have delivered thee unto me. What has what has thou done? Now Pilate asking Jesus Christ. Here we are. In 36, Jesus answered Pilate, My kingdom is not of this world. So just think about this. Jesus is the one to say that his kingdom is not in this world. So where is the kingdom? Of course, it's from up. If you think you will say in Israel, in USA, in Europe, in Africa, this is all nation, country, part of this world. This is all belongs to the world. I am right. Amen. So Jesus is saying his kingdom is not in this world. It means he is not here. He is from up. Where is higher world or heaven from up? Of course, heaven. <laughs> Amen. My goodness. Just think of, it's very simple to understand, but people make it too difficult. Amen. You see, if my kingdom, Jesus saying, if my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? You see, Jesus saying, my servants fight. That I should that I should not be delivered to Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. It's very clear. It's very clear. But because but because of this what we call different religion around the world. And people believe about their religion. This is confusing for all people around the world. Give stress for people's head. Amen. But just, just like this. Don't listen to anyone. Don't listen for those people trying to, trying to brainwash you. Number one. Your heart and up connected. Just do connection. If you think that it's very hard to understand, here we are. If you think that it's very hard to understand, did you know what the best thing we can, we all can do, all people in this all over the world? Let's talk to him. Amen. If you think it's very hard to understand, close your eyes, bow your head, and pray, and talk from up. Pray for him, and talk to him, and ask him. Did you know, through his Holy Spirit, is the one to teach you and lead you with wisdom and knowledge. No one can help us because I know it's very hard to understand for everyone, all of us. But the number one, the best thing all we can do, we pray and talk from him from up. Amen. So if everyone will say, you cannot see him. Of course, we cannot see him. He is the spirit. Especially if you doesn't know how to love one another of your brothers and sisters. You cannot see him. Did you know why? Because here it's no love. It's hate and anger. So hate and anger is belongs to Lucifer. Amen. Love, the powerful is love, is belong to Jesus Christ. It belongs to the Father. Amen. Remember, if how the Father God loved the world, that He sent 
his one begotten son into this world. How Jesus loved us that he is alone died on the cross. Just only this. Amen. So if everyone will say, if everyone will ask you, Jesus is, is not God, is not Jesus is a prophet, then you tell them, share the scripture. Amen. Sorry. If they are saying, you can read in books of John, Matthew, Mark, Amen. Matthew and Mark and Luke. Amen. But this is, you see, if anyone will say Jesus is not, is not God, Jesus was saying in John chapter 18, verse 36, My kingdom is not of this world. It means he is, he is from up. It's not here. Amen. And Jesus was saying, The Father and I are one. To this is make people very couldn't understand. The Father is the Spirit. Amen. Jesus, the Father, make him a man like us, a human. Amen. When Jesus, when Jesus came into this world, because he teach us, he teach us to stop sinning through him. We might all say. That's why he became a man. Amen. If how Jesus loved us, he is alone crucified on the cross. He is alone through his blood. He paid the sins of the world for all mankind. After his death, third day, he resurrected from up. So then how imagine everyone cannot understand that Jesus Fully man and fully God. Amen. So Jesus saying, they are saying, so how many God? We have only one God. Only one. It's not three. It's not more than one. Only one. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. Why Jesus became a man? Because for the sins of the world. But after his death, he resurrected from up. It means he is the spirit. Amen. So it's very hard for it's very hard to explain for our brothers and sisters, especially for those people non-believers. So, amen. I know it's very hard. But just think about this. If we have wisdom and knowledge of God only think about this only one in this planet earth who died on the cross who's resurrected from up born to be a virgin woman if you think there is someone another more born to be a virgin no one on earth For thousand years ago, for how many years? Amen. This is. I really enjoy to share all of you the message. I am happy. So this is my topic to share to all of you. Who is Jesus Christ? So I, I will put here all the scripture, but I know it's very. It's a lot of scripture. So, who is Jesus Christ? Mark chapter 1, 12 to 13. Luke chapter 2, 1 to 21. Philippians chapter 2, 5, 5 to 8. John chapter 1, 1 up to 14. And John chapter 20, verse 31. Luke chapter 24, 5 to 7. John chapter 3, 16 to 36. John chapter 4, Verse 24, John chapter 11, chap verse 25, and Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. Genesis whole chapter 3, Romans chapter 5, 12 to 21, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 21 to 22, 45 to 49. Hebrews chapter 3, 1 to 4, 
and Hebrews chapter 14, verse 15, Hebrews chapter 7, 24, 27, and Matthew chapter 4, 1 to 11, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, Isaiah chapter 53, whole chapter, Micah chapter 5, verse 2, Mark chapter 14, 61 to 62, and John chapter 4, verse 25, 42, and John chapter 18 to 36. This is all the scripture can guide you to understand if who is Jesus Christ. No need to argue, no need to fight, no need to debate. No need to debate. Only we pick up our Bible and read. The Bible can tell us, can tell us everything if who is Jesus how the way we live spiritually, why we need to become born again, why we still have heal and heaven, why Jesus, why Jesus died on the cross, why Jesus crucified, why Jesus born being a virgin woman. The Bible can tell us all about the truth. If everyone comes to you and fight, this is what we call, remember, that Lucifer, the falling angel that the Father God removed, being him from heaven, he was here on earth. Amen. Lucifer and Satan and his cohort of darkness here on earth. Amen. And remember, temptation, temptation is from Lucifer and Satan. This is why we need to stay, stand strong, our faith, to feed spiritually ourselves the words of God. Amen. Because remember, if you are weak, if you are weak living in life, you might be do suicidal even because you cannot take all this situation so there's a lot there's a lot doing suicidal because Lucifer and his cohort of darkness here on earth as much as they want to they want to destroy the world and people on earth but remember, Lucifer and excuse me, Lucifer and Satan, they will not win because only they are falling angel from heaven. A lessons, everyone. Lucifer and Satan and his cohort of darkness, they are, they are falling angels. This power, their power only on earth to tempt mankind, to destroy the world, to use people to make them believe because Satan and Lucifer, they know their time was running, was running that if the sons of the father will come into this world, they know already where is their place in the lake of fire? In the nations in the lake of fire. For those people who don't believe it, nobody forcing anyone to believe it. It's your choice. It's your life. It's your souls. It's not mine. Amen. But if you want to hear the truth, then open your mind, your eyes your ear the truth only the bible can tell us a few lessons for anyone no books no books in this planet earth can tell us the truth only the bible if you read the other books then you are not go straight you hear a left or right go there in damnations in the lake of fire that is the truth. No one on earth. Amen. This is why Jesus became a man like us. 
so that we can see him. We can see him that he is teaching. He is teaching us. Amen. He show everything about kindness, about humbleness. Amen. Everything. Amen. In the Old Testament, Amen. Only the lesson about the prophets, but in New Testament, that is all about Jesus Christ. Amen. It's about Jesus Christ. So since everyone, because we are different religion, but religion in this planet Earth cannot save the souls of human. Discussion. Religion, the world, everything in this world cannot save your souls. That is what we call our second death to live. Amen. Only one, Jesus Christ. So if anyone don't wants to listen, nobody forcing anyone. Amen. Nobody. But in New Testament, this is about all about Jesus when he became a man and he teach us. Amen. Because only in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus is the one to say, and nobody. And not in the Old Testament or whatever. Amen. In New Testament is about Jesus, about his words, about his teaching. So Jesus is the one to say, not apostle, not prophets. Amen. Not teacher, nothing. Jesus is the one to say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by him. Jesus is the one to say, so then, it's not your religion, it's not your apostle or prophet or whatever, it's not about your study or whatever, but Jesus Christ. We are all children of God, one body in Christ. One God, not three God, not more than one. One God. Different belief. Different religion, different people, different country, different color. One, we are all one body in Christ. God created us. Amen. It's not doing competition. It's not doing for debating. It's not doing for arguing. It's your belief. It's your belief. You are the ones to know if what is your belief. If it is hard about your other son, then close your eyes, bow your head, pray, ask the Lord, gives you wisdom and knowledge so that you will understand what is all about. The Holy Spirit of God is the one here in your mind. To lead you to understand. Not me. Not people. But God from up. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you. I know it is very hard. My belief. Only Jesus is the way to heaven. If it is your belief. What is your belief? It's yours. It's not mine. It's your soul's. It's not my soul. Amen. If whatever it is, it's yours. Amen. But only I am a messenger. A messenger if how God is spoken unto me. Amen. It's not for being a popular in social media. But the truth is the truth. No one can change the truth. If what is your belief it's yours. It's not mine. It's not my souls. It's your souls. Amen. So this is very confusing for all people around 
the world. If it is very hard, don't try to make it very hard. Jesus was saying, believe in me. See, if you will not believe, it's your choice. Jesus will not force you. God will not forcing you. Amen. But remember, only two. Heal or heaven. Lucifer and Satan, only the power on earth. But Jesus, the power, heaven and earth and under the earth. This, I'm not encouraging you. I'm not inspire to all of you but the truth heal or heaven it's your choice amen but it's too late later on that you are already in heal it's too late amen while you are here on earth you don't want to listen the truth because you ignore and reject it then it's your choice it's your life Good evening from here in Middle East. God bless you everyone. This is Bella. Bella's ministry, the power of God's ministry, the power of God church, united for Christ and warrior of Christ and all ministry here in social media. Hundreds of hundreds, thousands of ministry here in social media. My prayers, God bless All the ministry continues sharing the gospel in this planet Earth. Amen. Sister Evelyn, thank you so much. Sister Evelyn from West Africa. Joy Rail from Philippines. Bradley Gladbury Jr. from USA. Good morning, USA. God bless you, everyone here. So Stewart, God bless you. Timothy Ramela, Bebelo Ustaga. Baron Gomez watching from South America. Elena Bill. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much. Nil Pasata, my classmate, watching from Kuwait. God bless you, everyone here. Sister Debra e. May Emolden, warrior. Debra May Emolden, warrior, woman of God. Irish Junshon, God bless you. Sister Reggie Machado, God bless you, Sisi. Thank you so much. Esther Marina. Sister Marina, thank you so much. You are here this evening. I really appreciate. Thank you so much, Sister Esther Marina. God bless you. Maria Araz Azarele, God bless you. Crystal Angel, Crystal, what about the what about the lost book of the Bible, the Ap Apocrypha, Crystal Angel Sapphire, the infancy, the infancy gospel of Thomas tell of Jesus life from age to eight to ten he took a wife. The Bible. <laughs> Jesus was a Christian. Crystal. Someone, crystal angel sapphire. Jesus was a Christian, which the truth is in a high pro high profile. The books, the Christian church ban. I've studied many religion. No one exactly right and God. Uh, here, let me let me share this. Crystal angel sapphire. I've studied many religions. No one is exactly right, God, and no one is exactly wrong. Try Buddhism, Hudu Buddha Christianity. Everyone has their own belief. You're right, and that here we are. On that red high hypocrisy. Now let me answer this. I know I lapse already my time. For crystal angel sapphire, it if you think it's very hard for you to understand, I'm going to tell you the world. If you worship the world, you are not belong from up. If you love the world, that is the enemies of God. Amen. We are here not for worshiping religion, worshiping the world. Worshiping for any idols or worshiping belongs to the world. We are worshiping and praise Him and worship is from up and not belongs to the world. Only one, the Creator, from up. Even you studied different, different or whatever you having degree. Even those you hundreds of hundreds of degree you study but your wisdom is not wisdom from up your wisdom is wisdoms of the world 
And I know that this kind of situation, they like to always to debate and arguing about their beliefs. It was right. We are all different belief, different religion. But the Bible say all people only need to become born again. Because in the Bible, if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So it's your choice. If what is your belief? Nobody force you. Amen. Nobody force you with what is your belief. But is that the Bible was saying? If you will not be born again, then you cannot see the kingdom of God. Period. Amen. So it's not for study. If I will tell everyone here, I never study. I never study for being a preacher, being a pastor, or even to read the Bible, Bible study. Amen. But because more anything else, the Father God is more powerful because He is Creator. How should I know that I am here to always share the gospel of God? That I don't know anything. But because God give me assignment, amen, God spoken unto me, amen, it's not only that you study. Some people, they study, but they are not used in a right way. Listen to this, everyone for all people around the world. Amen. So even those they study, but they study, they are not used in the right way. They make turning right and left and not go straight. Amen. So you cannot say that even though you study or whatever without wisdom of God and knowledge, amen, people will come to you and wants to, to fight you and debate you, argue with you believe amen then in the name of jesus christ no one i can feel already my spirit did you know if the spirit of god we always took spirit to spirit my spirit your spirit if you are powerful deep relations to god in between us is the spirit of god always here amen but if you believe your belief is the God of this world. Amen. I can believe, I can feel already my hair standing up. You see, my hair standing up here. I can feel already. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus only can defeat the enemies. Whatever it is in all over the world, believe me, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, all defeated, believe your faith. Amen. Good evening. God bless you. Thank you so much. Sister Evelyn, Joy Real, Victor Berber, like Red Senior, everyone here. Sister Marina Esther, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you and really appreciate it. I love you all.